Hello, I'm going to show you how to use the copy command from a Linux Bash shell. We're going to go over three different scenarios. I'm going to show you a simple copy, a copy that uses the update flag, and a copy that uses the recursive flag. So let's get started. As you can see on the right hand side, I'm in my source directory as denoted by the tab in my file manager, and I also have a tab for my destination directory. I'll use these tabs to show you visually where the files are going and that they've actually copied. So let's get started with a simple copy. The syntax for the copy command is just a simple CP followed by the source and destination paths. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the simple copy file out of my source directory. So I'll type in source, simple copy, and I'm going to put it in my destination directory. Now I won't give it a file name because it's going to keep the same file name. So we'll go ahead and add the verbose flag so you can see the actual status message. And great. We have a copy of our simple copy file now in our destination directory. And if you look over here in the destination folder, you'll see that I have that file now there. Now you'll notice that I also had an update copy file here as well. Let's go ahead and open that. And you'll notice that I just have a generic line showing the kernel version that I'm using right now on my Ubuntu VM. So we'll go ahead and close that because this file is old. So if I go over here to my source directory, you'll see that I have an update copy here. If we open it up, you'll see that I obviously have some extra text in this document. So we'll go ahead and close this, and I need to update the copy that's in the destination directory. Simply do that, you just go CP followed by the update flag. And the syntax is the same. We'll go with the source, followed by the name of the file, and we'll put it in the destination directory. And again, we'll assign the verbose flag. And as you can see, it updated the copy in my source. So now if we go over to the destination directory in the right-hand side window here, and we'll double click on the update copy, you'll notice now that I have those additional lines of text. Now, if the source file was not newer than the destination file, we would not have gotten a verbose message and the copy would not have occurred. That's the whole point of the update flag, is it only copies the files to the destination if the source is newer than what is in the destination. It's great for it if you're making backup copies of files and you don't know which ones you've changed for sure or not. You could copy the entire directory and just say update and it'll just grab any of the update files. Now, moving on, we're going to go ahead and do a recursive copy now. And a recursive copy basically grabs any files and folders contained within those folders. So I've got a file folder with a few files in it. And I want to copy not just this folder, but my entire source directory to the destination path. So to do so, we'll just issue the CP command again, followed this time by the recursive flag. And we'll say, source and destination. And when I add the verbose flag here as well, we're going to see a lot of additional output and you can see that it copied everything. So to keep things clear here, I'm going to go ahead and do a ls of the destination file. And you can see here that I've also got those two files in there and a new folder called source. And if we do the same command again, you'll see that I also have the same files and folders that are in the right-hand window here. I have my source folder, followed by my recursive copy, and all 10 files. And that's pretty much it for the copy command. It's not really a difficult command to wrap your head around. There are a number of flags, though, if you want to look at how to use many more flags that it, that it has. Just look up the man pages, just type in man with a space bar and the CP command, and you'll get the full manual page with all the parameter listings. Thanks for watching.